Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is uh, someone actually on my network lockdown video, they said, you forgot all about Quick. Yeah, we got to it after that, and, and it was um, something that I'm glad this person brought up. And so if you don't know what Google Quick is, we're going to take a look at that real quick. Ha ha ha. Spelled differently, but Quick, uh, Q-U-I-C, pronounced Quick. It's a it's a transport protocol uh, that was invented by Google. And what it is is actually UDP packets instead of TCP, right? So it doesn't have all the same communication standards that TCP has with a handshake and us being able to peer into TCP to um, make things secure, right? So there are firewalls that can actually look inside of HTTPS traffic, encrypted web traffic with quick, it is much more difficult, if not impossible, for some people to do that, right? So it's basically this, they call it like an internet black hole. So I'll leave a link to this article and then also to this NetQuest, but it tells you uh, right here, why do network security teams not like Google Quick? Well, it's because you really can't see what is happening. So a lot of places are going to block Quick. And uh, Chrome will use Quick, Firefox will use Quick, other service providers have adopted Quick, like Facebook has now adopted it. And so what will happen is if you block Quick, then the browsers and the services will fall back to TCP instead of using UDP. Now, if you don't remember the difference between TCP and UDP, uh, TCP has a handshake and it waits for confirmation from the other side before sending and receiving data. Whereas UDP, we use it for applications like voice and video. It just fires off a packet stream and it doesn't care if the other side gets it. It just goes. Now, Quick has a lot of other things built into it to make sure that you're, you're um, basically getting your data. But every place that I've seen, whether it's Fortinet, whether it's Palo Alto, Cisco, uh, this NetQuest, everybody is like, you know what, just block it because you can't really do anything else with it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you real quick how to block it. So here is my UDR. We're going to go to firewall and security. And actually, first we can go to traffic management. We can create a new rule. And we're going to block and we're going to select quick from the application list and then target device, all devices, and it's going to be always, and we're going to say block quick. Now, what happens if you don't have a firewall where you can select an application? Well, even here, we should probably uh, go above and beyond. Go to our firewall rules and create a firewall rule to block quick. Now, there's some debate on where the best place to block traffic is. Like in some of our videos, we do it on WAN out. And then some people say, you know, do it closer to the source, do it on LAN in. So we could we could do it either either place, but we really don't want quick getting out to the the internet. So we could do it on our internet or we could do it on our LAN. So we'll do it on our LAN. So we're going to create a rule, and it's going to be LAN in. Remember, that's traffic coming into our interfaces. And this is going to, and actually the, the first thing that we need to do is we are going to uh, create a new uh, IP port group. We're going to call it QUIC. That's the other thing, is that QUIC does use port 80 and 443, but it does it on TCP, or I'm sorry, on UDP instead of, of TCP. So we created our our uh, quick group there. So we'll go uh, LAN in and we're going to say block quick. We are going to put it before the predefined rules. We're going to drop it. Uh, the protocol is going to be UDP because you don't want to block TCP because then your regular uh, web surfing is not going to work. Uh, source we're going to leave any destination is going to be this quick group that we created. And we're going to go ahead and apply those changes. And now we not only blocked it with our application selection, but we've blocked it inside of the firewall rules. So I'll leave uh, these two links down in the description. But if you've got any more questions about this, let me know. And I want to thank that viewer for, for bringing that up. And at first I didn't, I didn't understand and we had to kind of talk through it a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, quick, there's other people that have done videos on it. 
And obviously, if you do a Google search for quick security, um, you're going to get a lot of articles that talk about that. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel and our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. There's a contact form right on the front page, or you can click hire us, contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.